Hi, I just wanted to do a quick video about uh, a couple of the new toys we've got over Christmas period and uh, about the walk we did today. It was just over 10 kilometres called the uh, Horse Gully uh, Trail, I think it's called, um, down past the Nasp River. Uh, took us just over sort of three hours with us stopping all the time for resting and snacks. Uh, it's our first walk in, camp overnight and walk out. Normally we do a lot of car camping. We've um, made it all the way here tonight to the Horse Gully uh, hut, which is just behind me. And uh, great little spots up here. They were originally uh, overnight or temporary shelters for settlers and graziers. But uh, as we, we're here tonight, we've, um, we've tried out the new uh, Kathmandu Lathan or Lathan uh, two-person tent and I have to say like most things in life uh, one is none and two is one it's meant to be a two-person tent but it's going to be a bit tight tonight uh, with my partner and I being shoulder to shoulder uh, wouldn't suggest it with uh, strangers but it, it'll be okay for tonight and if, if things ever turned woolly weather wise we've always got the uh, the hut to stay in as well uh, if you look around some of the grasslands here now, you'll even see a couple of mobs of kangaroos have moved in and started their nighttime or evening grazing. And we're planning uh, to get up quite early tomorrow morning. It's going to be um, a fresh day to start with. Um, temperatures are looking like 13 degrees Celsius uh, overnight, which is not cold at all, but uh, it'll be fresh. Uh, reaching a 33 of tomorrow so we're trying to get back to the car which is about 10 k's away uh, basically as soon as we can because uh, I don't want to be out here while it's too hot just means got to carry more water and we're carrying packs that are oh, as I said our first time but they're they're far too heavy if we're going to do a, a long distance trip so some of the new toys we've got over the last sort of 12 months but haven't really got a chance to test out um, the Delorm Inreach, I think they're the version 1's now, they've gone up to the SE's but this is just the version 1. Um, it allows me to hook it up to my iPhone and send messages, um, 160 characters I think it is, up to um, via satellite, via SMS, email, Twitter or Facebook. Um, we're approximately 10 kilometres from my car and then we're about another 50 kilometres uh, to the south of Canberra so we have not a hope in hell of actually having um, phone reception so this allows me to um, not only track ourselves create track points but um, send SMS virtually to um, friends back home getting updated weather conditions we had some uh, pretty nasty clouds hanging around here for the last three hours luckily we haven't had any rain but in the event of anything actually going wrong, um, it actually also has an SOS function. I did a fair bit of research before buying these, but um, we had a, a version 1 spot before that um, for just tracking. And as I said, I, I did a fair bit of research and actually found out that Delorm and Spot have an MOU with um, the Australian Maritime um, Search Agency, I think it is, Search Authority, uh, AMSA. And uh, so the Delorm communication centers actually do contact AMSA for search and rescue. I wanted to make sure it was reputable and actually someone would come looking if we actually sent the SOS um, signal. Um, the other item that uh, has been all over Burma with us um, and it came to Darwin with me recently when I was uh, away for work for nine months is the Goal Zero uh, Nomad 7 which I think is called the Nomad 10 when you add the built-in battery pack which uh, is just uh, four triple A's uh, sorry four double A's in um, in this configuration which I can charge my phone my iPad I wouldn't really um, use too much because it only puts about an extra 25% in but the nifty feature I find is that has a built-in uh, LED and it'll last you know days for me and it has a nice wire hanger on the end I can just carabiner that to the top of the tent if I wanted to do some reading or if a good handheld size I just had to nip to the bathroom during the night and um, 
as I said, they're just double A's which you can take out and I can put into either De the DeLorme or um, my little uh, Garmin GPS inside or I've even got a small shortwave radio that we bring um, on our overseas trips just in case things turn hairy and I would like to be able to get worldwide news. But um, it's rugged, I've, I've seen a video of these being shot and still charging but they actually fold up really really small too. So you can just slip them into the back of a pack or what I actually do is mount mine and let it charge all day. So that's a great, um, you know, six or seven hours and this will be fully charged. The newest toy was actually the, um, the Berghaus uh, 65 Bioflex uh, light pack we got uh, only yesterday. I accidentally bought a 40 litre that was on special for only $60 or something, but um, after packing some of our kit in I realised it just was well too sh too small for what we were going to require. And um, I have to say, we packed this to the absolute gills today. There was, I'm pretty sure the only thing we left was the kitchen sink. I actually do have a fold up kitchen sink and we didn't bring it. But uh, it's a really sort of a lightweight pack with these metal sort of spines or ribs that uh, add some rigidity on the outside. But inside it's, um, you know, it's, it's really, really quite deep, you know, shoulder depth for me. And uh, built in pack cover and um, the brain at the top here, the, the top has inside and ex external uh, zips just like most um, packs. The only thing I will say though, the padding for the shoulders is, for me, really quite light on. Um, and it has a, a rotating or a, a pivoting hip pad. Uh, I wasn't sure how that would actually go, but I could really feel the difference in every step today. We did uh, over 10 k's with, I'm guessing, at least 15 kilos in this pack, which is far in excess of what I would have liked to have carried, um, having seen the facilities that are down here now. But um, that's the uh, Berghaus Bioflex Light 65, which uh, we, as I said, packed that to the absolute gills. and. Just one of our new toys cost me I think six dollars at the local Bunnings. It's just a folding and locking um, pruning saw which is just great for um, we're using it before just to knock up some firewood which is that sort of size which is really good for cooking and heating as well later in the evening which we may fire up in um, in the hut. So. Um, just before I sign off, I'll leave you with some footage of uh, some of the grass, uh, sorry, the grassland surrounding the uh, horse gully hut.